a look. April 28th. Look what Mother Nature brought us yesterday. I mean, it is... Look at this. It is a few good inches of snow. So I was fixing to go carp fishing. I was actually debating between carp fishing and crappy fishing. Because actually last week we had uh, several days of 80 degree weather. Okay, so the water temperature was well into the 50s. So I thought carp or crappy. And then we got so much snow yesterday that now I'm thinking, and if you look at the forecast for today, it will be sub-freezing all the way until 9 o'clock. So I'm thinking this sub-freezing temperature with all of this icy water that's going to go in the river and in, in the lake, um, the fish don't like this sudden drop of temperature in the spring. So I was afraid that the fish is going to shut down, at least the, the carp or the crappie in the... Uh, in, in the lake, so I'm gonna go catfishing instead because one catfish doesn't care and two, I mean the, the catfish lake that I'm going to is a power plant cooling lake, so it'll be 100 degrees anyway so yeah, let's go wow, look at that tree, so beautiful, it has icicles but yeah, let's go to Lake LaSalle and see if we have a nice day. It's going to be very late. By the time I get there, it's going to be 9.30. But I didn't want to drop my boat in sub-freezing temperatures again. I'm kind of tired of this. So I decided to take a good sleep, go later, and yeah, whatever happens. Let's go. Look at this. I drove hour and a half. And the ramps are closed due to wind. Now look again on the forecast for wind for today. It was supposed to be six, seven miles per hour. Okay. But it's more like 15. Ramp closed due to high winds. Oh well. Back to carp fishing, I guess. Or whatever, maybe crappy fishing. I have to decide. By the time I get home, and I have to get home, it'll be 9, 10 o'clock. Not to mention of the money I spent on gas. The weatherman, man. They can only tell what the weather will be 100 years from now. But nobody can tell what the weather will be tomorrow. It is absolute paradox. Alright guys, this is what we're gonna try now. I think it's too early for plastics. The water is really cold. So we're gonna put a piece of Alabama on a jig hook and a little float. And about one foot from the surface. And I will still jig it a little bit. Um, hopefully we find some fish this way. No way, man. Look at this, guys. No way, man. He's been caught many times. This bass. Not a bad fish for me. Nice. See if we can catch another fish with the Alabama. See this? This is the first time I fish my Alabama jumpers. 
and the first fish ever caught was a bass how about that No way guys, I think I got a bite. It's been one hour without a bite. I think this cold water just shut them down. I mean, panfish is not hard to catch at this pond. There we go. That was a good bite, man. Come on, what the hell? Damn, bluegill. Got you now. Finally a fish. That one, this is a crappy, nice. But I knew this was a crappy because this one didn't bite like a jerk. It took very gently. All right, first crappy of the year. On an orange trout magnet. Funny thing, my Alabama jumper is right there. Nobody wants to touch it. But I did get a fish on the trout magnet. Here we go. Told you there's gotta be more. Very nice. Very nice. Now we're cooking with oil. Now we are cooking with oil, guys. Oh my god. I found them. Well, I waited one hour for this. Finally found them. Interesting, I can't get a bite. Look at this. This is just beautiful. Alright guys, I'm gonna change the trout magnet with this one. Black and red because it looks more natural. This bright orange and white. And look how clear the water is. Uh, for me, bright orange is a color that does better in stained water. He is small. Here we go. That was a good bite. Almost like a bluegill. Very jerky. There you go. Crappy number six, I think. What is 
this? Wow! Look at this guys, second best of the day. Does this count? Interesting if this fish is born this year. What do you think? When did bass spawn for this fish to be born? Is this this year fish or last year fish? Very interesting. I mean, it's way too early for bass to have spawned already. And it's too small to be last year fish. That's all for today, guys. I would stay longer if the fish was biting, but I mean, the water is just too cold. It needs, I mean, it would have been today if not for this damn snow, but now it needs another week of good 70s degree weather for the water to warm up because usually I see all kinds of bluegill and some fish by the bank. Today I haven't seen one fish. Also, this uh, pond is full of carp that is just you know, roaming around the banks. Nothing. No carp, no bluegill, no sunfish. I just know the water is too cold. Which was the reason why I didn't want to come here on the first place. I wanted to go to La Salle, but yeah. It is what it is. We'll catch them next week. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye.